Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Jan, happy Father's Day to everybody uh, that, that's a dad and to all your dads. Uh, and I want to, I just got the phone with my dad, who's in New York, I'm, I'm here in LA with my son, and we're building this uh, Temple of Heaven uh, wooden uh, puzzle. Uh, but I want to share something, because my dad just shared this amazing story with me. Um, he was training last weekend in Chinatown, in, uh, and uh, he had a student there and, and who's new to push hands, he was teaching him push hands. And uh, he, a, a, a challenger came, um, and uh, you know the, the, this uh, the, the students. I don't know where 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 he's from, but the challenger was from Chinatown, Chinese from Chinatown, um, and uh, you know started giving notes and on on their form and what they're doing, uh, more so on their push hands. And then the student, he the uh, the, the man from Chinatown, uh, played with my father's student. And the student was highly critical and saying, like, you're, you're not doing anything. He was standing, the, the, the man was standing in a horse stance and just kind of flipping his hands around. And he was calling that push hands. And the student's like, hey, you're not threatening me. You're not doing anything that, that's causing me. He's like, you're just flapping your hands around. And then the, the guy from Chinatown starts saying how, how good my father's student was. And then he started giving my dad notes on how to become better, too. Uh, and my dad, you know, my dad, like, coached the U.S. Tai Chi push hands team with me. We were, like, co-coaches. You know, when I was captain. Uh, my dad's like, you know, four-time world champion. He's got titles. He's a really strong guy. And, you know, he's being very humble. But then the, the guy, you know, kind of gets on his nerves. So he's like, come on, let's push. And the guy tries to shoot for my dad's leg. Like, grapple. Uh, shoot for his leg to disrupt his root. Dad waited till he, the guy stood up. and Because and, he couldn't disrupt the root. And so the second he stood up, he cranked him to the right. Arm dragged him. And then um, cranked him to the left. And, and tossed the guy in his butt. And I think this is really, really interesting, important because there's two two things here. I, I, I've said this before. I, I put out a video last year um, where I, I played with a, 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 a master named Sam in Chinatown, also uh, uh, like from Chinatown, and wonderful guy. But he's a master, and I I saw how he would talk to the Westerners as if he's teaching them. And then I went to say, okay, come, you know, let's push. And I pushed around with him, and he was, and I, I gave him nothing. And he said to me, he's like, you're better in push hands than me. And, and I made a little video that said, to, for the benefit of our culture, of all culture, of all teachers everywhere, make sure when you, when it, when it, you go up against a teacher, that give them your best. Give them your best so that they can truly uh, measure and you can truly measure and that we can all learn from each other because that's part of it. Like we have to give each other our best to learn. Doesn't mean we have to have bad intention and try to hurt each other. But you got to give each other your best. You got to show people what you can really do, and uh, so that's one. And two, two. The other thing is the concept of the the uh, non Western, uh, the the non Eastern student, um, or the Western student learning from the Eastern practitioner. And there's this 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 concept of kowtowing to the Eastern practitioner because Tai Chi uh, originates in China. Um, the foundations of Tai Chi do not originate in China. Period. Like Tai Chi is something that that has. There are foundations to the breath work and visualization um, and and movement that are found in modalities across the world. So what Tai Chi is and what China has done has created a wonderful space to work on these um, mechanics of breath work and visualization and and body mechanic. And, and given it a name Tai Chi. And I think it's so important to honor that but not be limited by, by uh, nationalistic ideas. And it's just so, so important to honor the culture without being limited by the culture because Tai Chi belongs to the world. We can call it Tai Chi, we can call it something else. Um, but there are masters of all these different martial arts that do Tai Chi but they don't call it Tai Chi. And that's not to say that there aren't things that are specific to Tai Chi that are very unique and uh, such as like ward off, the position of ward off it to me is such an awesome and amazing position that I found pretty much nowhere else. Um, almost a little bit in judo, but not really fully. And there's the wonderful, uh, the, the science of pushing that, that, that push hands can be if you allow it to be. Amazing stuff, but, it, but I, I cannot stress enough, doesn't matter where you come from or who you come from, um, never be limited by where where you believe or perceive Tai Chi to come from. Don't be limited by any culture. Honor the culture. 
I have to honor Chinese martial arts because I grew up in Chinese martial arts and I love Chinese martial arts. I spent my time growing up around Chinese and Indian people and I love those cultures so much. Um, but I have to, because especially I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed because I'm so mixed. I have so many different, you know, bloods in my DNA that I don't really feel like I'm a part of anything except the humanity. And like, I just cannot recommend enough um, unlimiting yourself from, from any one culture. And, and so that's just a message for Father's Day is one, show up like the best you possibly can. And two, honor the past while, while recognizing that you don't need to be limited by it. Do not be limited by any culture um, for, from any of your martial arts and make sure to, to always be seeking excellence. And if we do that, we can honor where all this stuff comes from and we can get to a new place together that, that we've never been before. Uh, which is, I think, where humanity is going. I think humanity is, is on a great path, and we're going to be awesome. So <laughs> I just love you guys, and I hope that that that, uh, that you watch this video in its entirety, so that you see that 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 uh, you know I have no ill intent by what I'm saying. Is I, I want to make sure that we remove BS, that we remove the things that that stop us from being excellent and awesome as a as a group. And I, and I want to be very specific to the Tai Chi world because the you know last thing I want is somebody giving me. Uh, instruction uh, while they don't necessarily have the the um, uh, experience to warrant that, and um, and 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 it's okay because we can share, uh, but it's it's or should I say the perspective to warrant that? Um, so yeah, be just be cautious about about how you share, when you share, what you share, uh, and be respectful to everybody at all times. And 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 I think that's one of the best ways to give notes. Like hey, you know what you may want to try. Rather than you're wrong, you need to like, let me show you the right way to do it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll add the fi this final thing, because I always said two things, but the third thing was that um, uh, the concept of making sure that your martial perspective, Tai Chi, if you want to treat it as a martial art, that you make sure that you test under pressure, under live pressure, meaning whatever move you're doing, doesn't matter like if you do Wu style Tai Chi or Yang style Tai Chi. Doesn't matter if you uh, inflate the tricep or you keep the elbow down. Wu style, keep the elbow down. Uh, reverse breathing Yang style, inflate the, the tricep. Um, both say oh, the other one's wrong. No, that doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. Like you can make up your own Tai Chi. I'm so serious. <laughs> like as long as you have, as long as it works in, mar in a martial scenario and you're doing martial arts, then you, then you have a, a, a martially viable technique. And then the circulation and the intention is pretty much up to you. So it's really more so about your ability to control your attention and program something with willpower and find the optimal position for your body to have the circulation be at its best. So you get the health benefits of it. So from that perspective, there are, there are ancients that have measured certain uh, uh, angles, et cetera, but we can't be uh, that are optimal for your body. But simultaneously, we can't be limited by that because the science of fighting has evolved, and uh, so we have to make sure that we're we're with that that we're bringing new techniques and new ideas and new intelligence into what we're doing. So this is so that there are three things I covered today. <laughs> um, so I'm sending you guys love for Father's Day. Um, remember, bring the best you go always can. Um, you know, make sure to honor the past, but not be limited by it. And make sure that, that if you're choosing something in your martial art, um, choosing a technique or working on something, you know, you can, as, as long as it works live, figure out the circulation, figure out how to relax and how to optimize your body so you can do less and accomplish more. And I love you guys and um, uh, wishing you all the love in the world.